Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Trader Talk. Today we're focusing on NVIDIA, who have just had their latest earnings report. Remember, this is one of the biggest companies in the world, and a lot of people have been waiting to see how this earnings report comes out. We're going to look at it fundamentally, we're going to look at it technically as well, and I want to hear from you in the comments if you're watching on YouTube. Let us know how you're feeling about this stock please do remember to like share subscribe if you're listening on the podcast give us a rating and remember if you are on the podcast there's a link in the bio where you can follow along on youtube as well before we get into the fundamentals before we get into the technicals for this biggest one of the biggest companies in the world let's have a quick look at the lowdown year-to-date performance heading into this earnings report it was up 229 percent it's all-time performance was up 57,358%. The sector, as many, as many of you will know, electronic technology, the exchange of the NASDAQ, it's based in California. And of course, the areas of involvement, as many of you will know, AI, computer, integrated circuits, computer graphics, manufacturing, and video cards. NVIDIA became the ninth company to have a one trillion dollar market cap at any one time earlier this year after their quarter two results and it heading into this release it was the sixth biggest company in the world by market cap now the results look very very good on paper it has to be said the ai giant here it really over delivered revenue climbed to 13.5 billion which was up more than 100% year on year. Earnings jumped up by more than 400% to $4.29. I think we can say here this, this massive beat that we had in quarter two results left people thinking, well, can they deliver again? And they did. NVIDIA really stunned Wall Street here with its quarter, quarter three forecast. Guidance was uh, for quarter three was for revenue to be $16 billion, well above estimates of 12.6. And of course, it's important to note that AI here has been obviously the big focus of the broader market. And NVIDIA is generating big money from it with margins and profitability growing substantially. I think these results really show that AI isn't just hype and that NVIDIA and AI is here to stay, not just for NVIDIA, but for the broader tech sector as well. However, let me know what you think about that. Do you agree? Do you disagree? That's what I really want to hear in the comments below if you are listening and watching on YouTube. The next thing for us to focus on here is the technical side of things. And for those, again, that are watching uh, on YouTube, you can just follow along anyway. But for those that are on the podcast, feel free to click on the link to check it out. I will be reading the levels out anyway, so it will still make some sort of sense. Now, as I mentioned, NVIDIA was going into this report up 228%. It's now going to be above that. Okay, this is how the market closed uh, yesterday with NVIDIA trading at $471 per share with that previous all-time high at 579 it's now trading above 500 so an important point to note here is that there will be some people that might look to take a little bit of profit it's above 500 it's a psychological handle so don't feel like you need to have FOMO here to jump into a position let's just talk about some of the very key levels though that are currently uh near where we're trading one of course is going to be the previous all-time high at 479 trading above that that's going to act as a floor now that's going to be an area for the short medium and longer term bulls to protect and any bears that, that are out there that are going to look to see that breakdown now below that level i probably would say there's a bit of a mid-range line in the sand a an area where uh, people may look to re-enter the market. And that comes in around 434, which was the high that we had on the 18th of August. Below that, and this is a really key level as well, is 395, a very strong at the moment support level. We broke through this. People might remember at the beginning to sort of mid part of June, which led to the next run higher that we had. Look, if price is to get down to there from where we're going to be trading, it's going to have to drop about 18%. Now, there will be people out there thinking, well, there's no way this market's going to drop 18%. I'm just going to talk through something. Okay. Just in the last sort of few weeks and months, 
there has been periods where NVIDIA has still come under pressure. From the high that we had on the 14th of July the, uh, to the low that we had on the 15th of August, price moved down 15%. It has had periods over the last sort of few weeks and months where it can still come under pressure, where it drops eight to 10 to 15%. So don't feel like you have to jump in to this trade, to this investment straight away, if you do feel bullish about it. And if you feel bearish and you want to take the other side of the trade, these are some of the key levels that you can look at, that you can focus on, and you can have the understanding that it can still come under pressure. Now, super long term, I think it is also worth noting the previous all time high that we had in November 2021. Now, for us to get down to that point, we're going to have to move about 29 percent lower. Am I saying that's going to happen? No. However, if it does, it's very, very interesting having been that previous all-time high, how people will look at that as an area where it could be potentially an area of support to get in again for the longer term. Now, I mentioned just in the last few weeks how NVIDIA has come under uh, a little bit of pressure, dropping 15%. If we go back a year, two years, there's been periods where the previous all-time high in 2021 to the low that we had in October last year, it dropped 68%. So I'm not saying, again, that's going to happen. What I am saying is if you aren't in this position, whether it be a trade or investment, you can have at least uh, some belief that it, there's going to be a point where it does move lower. And then it gives you the opportunity to potentially buy the dip, for example. And some of those very key levels where I think a lot of longer term investors would bite your hand off right now would be free four five which was that previous all-time high from 2021 and also the high just before the quarter two earnings release which was 317 dollars these would be areas where i think a lot of people would love to see nvidia trading right now let me know in the chat for those that are listening on youtube do you think it could even get to that point let me know how you're playing it are you already in the position i think for investors that are in this position they would have held going into this earnings report, you'd like to think they've already taken a bit of profit. And now they've got the best case scenario where on paper, the earnings look really good. And it might be that we now can sustain a move above this previous all time high. But that leads me on to the next point. Okay, as we know, or as you're about to know, uh, in sort of technical analysis, a lot of the focus is on where the market closes. So we're looking like we're going to open up uh, above 500. However, there's no guarantee we close above that. And actually, if we close below the previous all-time high of 479, there's going to be a bit of panic in the market. So be careful. Don't feel like you have to have FOMO. See where we close the day and the week as well. And they would really be the key levels that I'd be focusing on. Ultimately, big longer-term investors, the real dip that they would like comes in around sort of 345, 317. There's no guarantee we get there. However, we have in the last few weeks and also months and years had significant drops so it's not out of the question for those that are looking to ride it where could you be looking to take this trade to that's another important question that we need to think about you know there's round numbers 500 600 700 even could be levels where you look to take some sort of profit there will also be people that focus on Fibonacci extensions I'm not really someone that looks to do that however for those that do like that sort of extension route, you do have some interesting levels here. So some people, it wouldn't surprise me at the 1.618 level, which comes in around 538, that could be a potential target. That could be a potential ever level where people take some profit off of the table. It remains to be seen, of course, how this actually reacts once we start properly trading. But those would be the levels that I would focus on. Let me know in the chat what else you are you are looking at. Of course, you can add your moving averages and so on as well. Let us know what you're focusing on here. Now, also overnight, you may have seen this already, but it's worth us talking about. There has been some upgrades from certain uh, banks. Bank of America have risen their target to 650. You've got JP Morgan, which have gone to 600, Wedbush also 600, Deutsche Bank to 560. You've even got Rosenblatt, which have risen their price target from 800 to 1,100. So the market is super bullish right now. 
in summary, the bottom line is that the AI train, we could say, is probably not slowing down. And the results from yesterday sort of reassure investors that this isn't just a flash in the pan. It's not just a one-time thing. And as it looks, that numbers are going one way and that's up. However, how much of this is already priced in? And let me know what you think below in YouTube. Do you think all of this is expected? Do you think it's a bubble? Do you think this is an investment you're just going to leave alone and watch from the sidelines? Or do you think this is just the start? Or are you focusing on now other AI-related companies? NVIDIA's gone. It's doing its thing. You've made maybe a little bit of money there. Or you left it alone, but you see better opportunity elsewhere. Let me know what you think, whether that be uh, on Twitter uh, or whether it be on YouTube. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.